Hi everyone, my name is Vien King and I play the role of Michael. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Rivera and I play the role of Susan. Hi, I'm Jeff Flores and I play the role of John. So welcome to the Behind the Curtains docuseries of... Nine Works, Works Theatricals! theatricals. Tick, 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 boom! boom. We're just really grateful that we can continue to share the show with more people because I know a lot of people have seen the film, mm -hmm. um, but we're just so grateful that we can bring it to the theater. So we hope to see more of you at the theater. I think he he broke the stereotypes of you know of musicals. Mm -hmm. Parang ngayon, since a uh, fan of Stephen Sondheim, the first the first thing that I realized when I studied his songs are talagang merong merong mga Bakas or marks ni Stephen Sondheim done, and it's I'm happy to really study his works because, you know, it, it's something new that I could really learn from. It's very different. I think because of Jonathan Larson, he paved the route for like yep. Lin Manuel Miranda, mm -hmm. who went against the grain of what is traditionally seen in the theater. He opened the door for people like him, and because of him, all these you know genius works have been created. Tick tick boom, Rent, um, and then of course like in the Heights, um, Hamilton, of course. So um, it just it teaches us also just to don't you don't have to stick with the traditionary route, but go against the grain and don't be afraid to try that even if it takes like diba five years or however long it takes if it's something that you truly believe in eventually others will see that and they'll also believe in it yeah, and that yeah. courage and passion niya talaga you yeah. know talagang he's so dedicated and nakaka-inspire din mm -hmm. as an artist to really just stick sa gusto mong gawin sa kung ano kung saan kang passionate yeah. and then the people will see and appreciate it yeah I think I really need to dive deep in because parang pag-iisipin ko siya, hindi ko siya kayang gawin. So ganun, I sometimes touch the props, touch the sets, or mga things like that on stage para mas ma-imagine ko na nandun talaga ako sa zone na yun, nandun ako sa world na yun. Parang kailangan hindi ko maisip na yung mga audience na manonood. Kasi once na naisip ko siyang may audience na nanonood, medyo nasisira yung uh, pag-transform ko sa mga characters. I think this story resonates well to them because parang we don't need to like stress ourselves in achieving those because we have our own time and we have our own paths in life. Diba yes. there's the, ano, the quarter life crisis kasi. So parang a lot of us can resonate with that. Na, oh my gosh, I'm turning 25, I'm turning 30 and I should already have this accomplished at this time. And at the same time, a lot of us have dreams that seem so far-fetched and just yep. seem like impossible and it's hard. So a lot of us can resonate with Jonathan Larson. Na, he was taking this like not tradition, you know, a traditionary road mm -hmm. where, you know, a lot of us are in the same boat. You know, as artists yeah, especially, um, where it's like, oh, I could easily just do this, but I could just do this harder route and follow my dreams. It's harder, but in the end, it will always be worth it. So that's why I think people can resonate with the message of the show. Even though it's based in the 90s, it's still yes. super relevant. Yeah. Make sure you come and watch the rest of our run. We're running weekends until September 3rd. See you at the theater. Yes. See you.